today we need to get into people saying that MBC insulted V and what happened. We need to get into people saying that V should sue YG and what that is about. And then we have to get into RM's recent posts on Instagram. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. We need to talk about RM and his recent post. So a lot of people have many theories. When he recently deleted all of his photos on Instagram and many people were thinking if this was a sign that he was going to be making music or he was going to be releasing something and he was gearing up to sort of rebrand everything. And it's a good move when you're releasing something as if you just want the thing that you're releasing to be the focus and you don't want anyone to talk about anything else on your page or really look at any other photos, then deleting everything is a good move. However, I don't believe he had rebranded as the new stuff that has come out seems like him. It doesn't seem different. So he released some photos on his Instagram story of sort of a new photography. Now RM had the shaved head before he enlisted. It. So we actually have no idea the timeline of when these photos were taken. He could have literally just taken them now. We know that before the military, he said that he was working on new stuff and I guess now it's come out. And the boys really did the community justice by having non-stop releases. They really kept the releases going and then we might have RM come out, we might have more releases, we might not, but then Jin's going to be back. And so we never really got a break from BTS, which is awesome. But going back to RM, a lot of people thought that this was a bit of a statement that he made. Not too long ago, during a live stream before all the members enlisted, RM talked about how they were going to be releasing a lot of stuff, and that before you know it, all the members are going to be back and we're not even going to really realize that they are gone. And this is very interesting because would I have rather they released everything while they were active and then not had much going on during the enlistment or would I have rather them spread out the things like they have? Personally, I would have definitely preferred if all the members had promoted their singles and songs and albums while they were active, as they could have gotten a lot more listeners and eyeballs on their stuff, because a big part of promotion and getting your stuff out there is being able to create TikTok videos, it's being able to create interview videos, and those sorts of things, all of which they obviously can't do now. I don't know, I feel like the bottom line is, if they had done that before they left, they would have been able to get a lot more eyeballs on that stuff. And even if they were gone for like a year or two, people really wouldn't feel like it as even if they did lose a few supporters or whatever it was, they had gained so many that they were really not going to lose that many. I don't know if that makes sense. But his statement was basically trying to tell everyone that they are there and they are not giving up and that they're going to be constantly releasing music and they're not going anywhere. That's really what a lot of people in the community were scared about that the members were going to be leaving and not being in the music industry anymore. Of course, I'll be reacting to these songs on Patreon, so if you're interested, go check it out. I'll leave a link at the top of the description, and there's a $1 tier with limited spots, so make sure you check it out. There's been a lot of people saying a lot of random things, and there's even been some people saying that the members should take legal action, specifically that V should be the one taking legal action. Now, what is this about, and why have these things gone viral again? Something I will say about the community is that they sometimes like to rehash old things, and then they get upset that there's people rehashing old Old things. However, things get resurfaced and re-viral all the time because people like to bring them up and get upset about them again. People like to read those things and re-watch old moments. And of course, those scandals or those less than desirable things come up and then they go online and talked about again. It gets trending again because it's emotional and then people get upset about it all over again. You can almost wake up every single day to look on Twitter or whatever and see that there is an old piece of drama being rehashed again because someone talked about it and it really upset the community a lot. And then now they're trending of the company or trending whoever is involved, hate comments, saying that they're upset or whatever. So what happened this time and what's going on? Someone talked about how Jenny and V's dating scandal and that sort of thing was media play. So it wasn't real. It wasn't actually happening. They were just faking dating on camera so that they could get publicity. Someone as far as to say that the girls in Blackpink, their entire career has just been due to scandals and thus they need another scandal to continue their career. So then they got V or BTS members involved. 
They then wrote this to say that because of this, V should be the one to take legal action on YG for allowing or making Blackpink participate in scandals, especially ones that involve a member of BTS or himself. This is like a new level of stupid. This is a new level of brain rot type of comment because what on earth is this saying here? That the girls haven't ever released any music, that the girls are just terrible at what they do? Because being in scandals does not equate getting millions to billions of streams on a music video. It just simply doesn't. Being in a scandal puts people in the forefront of their audience's mind. However, the music has to be good. People have to connect with it and every single person that I've ever talked to that is someone who is not into K-pop, and I have mentioned these girls, they tend to say, oh, this is like my gateway into the industry, and I really like these girls. Of course, the same thing applies to BTS, but the same thing applies to these girls too. Scandals don't really even get people to listen to the music because scandals get people upset. Scandals get people very famous, but it's not automatically going to translate into streams. How many artists do you know are in a lot of scandals but are not getting any streams to their music. Now, the second thing that I want to say is V obviously consensually participated in this scandal if it was curated, right? Because I don't believe dating is a scandal. But if he was doing it for like the sake of media play and for publicity, he would have consensually participated in it. They can't force you to participate in a scandal or a publicity stunt if you don't want to. Like how on earth would they do that? So attacking Jenny in this case and attacking the label is also in this case attacking V. And this is why I look at some of these comments and I'm like, do you even know what you're saying? Of course, there's drama happening all the time. One of the most recent dramas is with NBC. If you're unaware, this is a Korean TV network and there's really only a few notable TV networks in Korea that do like award shows and performances and stuff like that. They're one of those. Now, they recently did a segment on their show where they credited the group 17 as the one who built HYBE from the ground up. Of course, I don't have to tell you why this made a lot of people really upset, as I think it makes sense why people were really upset about this. But it was interesting because immediately this went trending to like over hundreds of thousands of people, basically saying to respect BTS and that BTS was the one to do it. The 17 comment obviously makes no sense to me, and I see why the community is upset. BTS was literally with the label since the very beginning, and it was like their first real group that they had worked on, and it makes sense that obviously it would be BTS that built the label, right? 17 wasn't even there when the label first started. We even have Bang PD talking about this a long time ago where he mentioned that he owes the success of the label to BTS. Of course, a lot of people were really upset about this because how can you discredit someone's work now? A lot of TV networks discredit BTS and they've been doing it since the beginning. And I don't know if it's through malicious intent or if they're just not remembering as, as much and literally their team just kind of forgot. 17 is, after all, one of the biggest HYBE acts right now, so it makes sense why they would try to make that claim, but it really does discredit a lot of the hard work that the members have put in. And I can imagine something like this being applied to the people who are upset, like this idea of not getting the credit that you deserve. I'm sure everyone has experienced that, whether that's a situation in which you might have been in line for a promotion or a situation in which in school where you felt like you were not getting an award that maybe you felt like you deserved. So I see the infuriation with this, but I don't know necessarily if the TV network was doing this on purpose or if they genuinely just forgot, or even if it was just mistakenly translated. People were wondering how the BTS members themselves would react to a situation like this and how they would feel if someone else was getting credit for something that they did. And the bottom line is, I think their hearts are very open. I don't think they hold grudges. And I think that they wouldn't really care and they would probably be like, well, if the group is going to take the credit, then good for them. At least they're within our label and we like them. During an interview not too long ago on Weavers, V feels like his focus is just making the best music that he can. While it's really great to have amazing accolades and being a part of history and all that stuff, it's not really something that I think a lot of artists really aspire to. If it happens, it happens, but the bottom line is they just want to make music and the best music that they can. And that is something that BTS has been very open about. I don't think they care about winning all of these awards and all these things. I think they just care about serving their community and serving the people that they love, which they have mentioned time and time again, that that's what they want to do. So don't get too upset and just enjoy the music. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.